I teach visual arts at Butler Community College in El Dorado, Kansas. I always had an artistic practice. Even when I was washing dishes, I'd still made myself come home and draw for five hours every evening. That was important to me and always was important to me. My dad paid for me to have some classes in, in the New York Artist Academy, I think it is, um, figure painting class when I was about 16. And then when I got there, it was a nude model. And so I got really freaked out and I was like, I don't want to do that. So that was my first foray into oil painting. And so I gave up on that for quite a while. I intended to get my degree in sculpture. That was my plan. And then I uh, kind of had a falling out with the sculpture instructor. The next time I picked it up was in Barbara Waterman Peters oil painting class. And then I just never looked back after that. Once I kind of let go of the fact that I needed to use photography for references, that I would paint the person as if I were painting them from life. And so that's kind of why they have like this distant look on their face. It lends itself well to uh, sort of this distance between people and a family that can be existing in the same space, especially nowadays when everybody's got their smartphone and that sort of thing. Basically, there's somebody always on a device. <laughs> That's the big story, you know, like um, anywhere you go, you can't get away from them. Uh, I think just first glance is, is sentimental family stuff. I have kind of a macho approach to painting in that I don't want to be seen as like being fluffy or sentimental. When you're painting what's around you and what's around you is babies, people tend to look at them as sentimental regardless. Them being young women, um, they have powerful personalities and I like the idea of uh, women sort of sticking up for themselves pictorially, but there is like a distance there. So you're, you know, they're looking at you, you're looking at them, but they're guarded. The way people look at figurative work, it's like, oh yeah, but people have been making figures forever. What's new about these? Everybody is different. Every person that's born is different. Their experiences are, are different. So how can you say that this figurative work has been done before because it's of something, somebody that's completely different?